Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, I thought it'd be a fun idea to do another story time video. I do these occasionally every few months and I thought this one would be an interesting story to tell. It's the time I almost got wrapped up, roped up, sorry. Time I almost got roped up into a pyramid scheme. <laughs> and if y'all, if no one knows what a pyramid scheme is, basically a pyramid scheme is these corporations that try to sign people up for their services and they try to get you who you sign up, you get to sign up other people and they go under you. And then it basically becomes like a pyramid, like <laughs> you sign up people and then those people are under you and they sign up more people and so on and so forth. And you make money off the people below you. So the people on the top make the money, the people on the bottom make no money. It's basically a huge giant scam for people to make easy money and people to sign up thinking they're gonna make money, but they make absolutely nothing. More so, they lose a lot of money. <laughs> so, back in, I don't know, maybe February of 2013, so this is about 10 years ago, I was 22 at the time, so I was young, naive, and stupid. But I was approached by family, so of course I trusted it. My aunt, I will not tell you her name, but she approached me. She calls me up and she says, hey, Jordan, you want to make some money. I know that sounds like a drug deal, <laughs> and but my aunt's not the kind of woman who does drugs. She's actually a businesswoman, so I'm like, interesting. Maybe she has a job lined up for me while I'm in college and or something. Maybe there's an investment I can make. So I'm like, I'm always down to make some money. And she's like, I'm going to tell you about a brand new thing that I heard of called ACN. If you don't know what ACN is, it is a corporation, mostly in Canada, but it's spread around North America, and they provide, like, internet, phone, all this service for you at a cheaper price, cheaper than, like, Rogers or Bell. Even though they are linked up with other services that exist, they basically take those services and sell it to you at a cheaper price, even though you're just getting knockoff. You're getting shittier internet, shittier phone service, all for prices that... You should not be paying, and you basically sell these products to other people, and you get them to sign up, and they sign up other people. I'm like, sounds like a pyramid scheme, of course. But they don't call it a pyramid scheme. They call it multi-level marketing, MLMs. When you ever hear someone approaching you and saying, I have a business proposition for you, it is a multi-level marketing project or corporation or job opportunity. When you hear multi-level marketing, stay the fuck away from it. It is a pyramid scheme. <laughs> but, okay, so my aunt, uh, she introduced me to this like company. She's like, it's called ECN, and it's going to make you a lot of money. And I'm like, interesting. How'd you hear about this? And she says, a family friend, a family friend that I know, I've known my whole life. Uh, she's a good friend of my aunt's and my mother's, and... She's been joined up with ACM for about a year, and she's been making a little bit of cash. So my aunt, my, I was about to say my aunt's name. <laughs> oh my God, that was bad. My aunt signed up for ACN under my family friend, and my aunt wants to sign me up under her so I can get more people for her and the family friend to all make money through multi-level marketing. Sorry, multi-level marketing. <laughs> so she says, come to a meeting with me. Come to a meeting with me and they'll explain the whole thing. Because I still didn't understand. Um, I was actually in school for business, but I still had no idea what she was really talking about. I'm still a 22-year-old college kid who's just, you know, focused on going to school and hanging out with his buddies and playing some video games. So she said, come to a meeting with me. Next week, I'm going to put bring you to a meeting and I guaranteed after the meeting, you're going to want to join and join your friends up and make some real money. And I'm like, sounds kind of cool. So about a week later, we meet up in this like really big hotel. It's called the Monte Carlo. And I go to one of these meetings with my aunt and my family friend. And this guy comes up. His name is like Chris or something. And he explains all about what ACN is and all that stuff. And the first thing he says is, this is not a pyramid scheme. 
he says that almost nine times in his presentation. How much this is not a pyramid scheme? That right there is like a red flag right there. Like, if someone has to explain nine different times that it's not whatever it's being accused of, the chances are it's that. It's like someone getting interrogated by a cop and the person constantly says, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Maybe he did do it. He's really... <laughs> So he explained the gist of what it is and signing up people for these products and how much you will make money. It's not a pyramid scheme because when you sign up, you can surpass the person that's ahead of you, which still doesn't make sense because if you bring the people in, the person above you makes money off the people you bring in. So how are how on earth are you gonna make more money than the person above you if you're bringing people in and they're making you money, but if you're making money, the person above you is making money, and plus they have other people that d you don't have that's under them, so they will always make more money. The people on the top always make more money than the people on the bottom. That's what a pyramid scheme is. Oh, I'm sorry, multi-level marketing. I don't know what you're saying, buddy. Fuck you. So he explained like all these positions. There's like a QTT. There's a team leader, regional director, team coordinator, all these like fancy buzzwords that make you sound important. And it's very, very manipulative and very well done, actually. Like I went to the meeting and I was all for it. Because it's very convincing, man. The people they have here, they are excellent speakers. They know exactly all the buzzwords to say to get people to sign up. Because a lot of people sign up and fall for it. And it's sad, actually. It really is sad. It's not sad in like a pathetic way. It's sad because people put money and time into this and they make nothing. And it bleeds them dry. And it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing to do to people. People think they're signing up for this thing, this corporation, these products, this multi-level marketing. They think they're going to make all this money that they're promised, and they don't make a fucking cent. It's bad. And these people convince you you're going to be like a millionaire. Like, they all say, like, they all, like, come up to you and be like, hey, do you want to work for yourself? Do you want to go to work every day, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, and make minimum wage, work your ass off, and you're not gonna have enough to retirement and everything. You wanna retire at 35, you wanna have a half a million dollars in the bank, then join ACN. They say all the words people wanna hear if you wanna make some money. And the, it just, they use like these buzzwords, these smart intellectual words, but that's all they are, they're words. They're not facts, they're just words. But words can manipulate and control people, and especially people who are struggling, struggling to pay bills, to pay rent, and struggling to just go to work every day and be exhausted. When someone tells them, all you got to do is market this company and you're going to be a millionaire, that sounds so appealing to so many people. And it sounded appealing to me. It really did. I still wasn't fully sold on it. So about a month later, I still didn't sign up for it. And my aunt was telling me how she's got all these people. She's got like 60 people, like 60 people under her. She got 60 people to sign up for her. And I told her, uh, have you made any money? She even signed up my grandparents. And trust me, our grandparents quit out of it within three months. Because the services they got, they said the phone was terrible. The internet connection was a disaster. They went back to Rogers. Rightfully so, because Rogers is a legit company. Uh, but I digress on that. Uh, I said to my aunt, like, you have 60 people under you. Are you making any money? She's like, yeah, I just got a check in the mail. I'm like, how much? She's like, well, I can't tell you. That's private. I'm like, tell me how much. She's like, $250. I'm like, $250? And you've been doing this for months, and you have 60 people under you, and you only got a check for $250. How are you supposed to live off $250? And you put months and months of work into this, and you signed 60 people up, and you only made $250. Are you fucking kidding me? How are you supposed to make millions? They're, they're, they're telling me when I'm going to these fucking meetings that I'm going to be raking in the dough and making hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars through multi-level marketing. And my aunt was like, how many friends do you have on Facebook? And at the time, I think I had 100. She had like, contact all 100 of them. I'm like, some of them, I don't even know who the fuck they are. They're like a mutual friend of a mutual friend. 
What am I supposed to do? Like, go up to these people who I've never spoken to, but hey, want to make some money? Sounds like I'm trying to get them to sign up for a cult or something. <laughs> I digress. Um, so, about a month later, I go to Toronto. Because um, my aunt and a family friend, they want me to go to this big, huge event in Toronto where all the top dogs of ACN are, and they're going to tell everybody about all the new stuff coming in and how much more job opportunities and products they're getting and how much more money they're going to be making. So I'm like, fine, I'll go to Toronto with you guys to see what the fuck this is all about. It's already seeming a little sketch, but hey, let's let's check it out. So I went and my God, does it sound like a cult? It really does. It's just a business pyramid scheme but it sounds like a cult how they try to like convince you this is like the only way you should make money and how to make money this is the future of marketing this is the future of all businesses oh my god the way they sell you and the way they pressure you and to sign people up and again they stress it so much Every meeting, I went to three meetings. I went to two in my home city and I went to Toronto and all three of them, I'd say over 40 times within the three meetings I went to, about 40 times they mentioned pyramids, pyramid schemes and how much they were not pyramid schemes. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> like you keep saying that it's not a pyramid scheme. If you guys were a pyramid scheme, you would not be talking so much about pyramid schemes. And then they had their biggest kick seller for the products. Even though the products were shit and you make no money, only the people at the top make the money. They had a celebrity endorsement. And this is what also got people to sign up. And you will never guess what celebrity endorsed ACN. Success in ACN is not a mystery. You remove the advertising agency and you provide cutting edge products that people need and want directly to consumers. ACN uses a model with a proven track record, and it's creating millionaires. ACN is really all about teamwork. You just don't see that attitude in corporate America today. Oh yeah, baby, Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> what? Are you crazy? Yes, actually, my aunt and my family friend actually got to meet Donald Trump because he was an AC medic. He was in an ACN meeting in Tennessee. They went to Tennessee. They flew to Tennessee. They actually flew to Tennessee, paid a plane ticket to go an AC an ACN meeting in Tennessee to meet Donald Trump. And they met him. My aunt said he was actually a pretty cool guy. I don't know. I've never met the guy, so who fuck knows. But I found it very funny that Donald Trump, of all people, was endorsing it. He even endorsed it on an episode of Celebrity Apprentice. And after all the controversy with ACN over the years and years, Donald Trump refuses to even acknowledge ACN now. He even says, no, no, I never endorsed them. I, I don't associate with ACN and stuff. Even him, Donald Trump himself, <laughs> Donald Trump himself wants to not be associated with ACN, even though he clearly did endorse it, but he was refusing to say he did, and he's refusing to say he had any part with them. That, that That's, that's, Donald Trump of all people. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, and let's just go to now. It has been 10 years and ACN still exists. People are now realizing how much of a scam and how much of a pure scheme ACN is because so many people sign up for the products and sign up for this company to be their own business person, to be their own company owner, a regional director or whatever the fuck it is. And so many, I mean, so many people lost a lot of money. They put so much money and time and effort and stress. This is supposed to be a company that you just sign people up, but it was more stressful than actual work and you weren't even making any money and it destroyed people. Pyramid schemes do that. It destroys people's lives because they put money into thinking they're going to make money, but they just lose it. They lose their money and it destroys their lives. And when you look it as a, you probably all wonder like what happened to my aunt. My aunt quit. After two years, she quit. And then my family friend who was actually making a bit of buck, she quit too. Because my family friend, she owned two businesses. She owned a hair salon and a convenience store. And she was making money off both those things. So she's like, 
guess you didn't need to do ACN anymore. I'm like, well, yeah, you weren't making any money. So it's hilarious. Uh, I was so close, so close of giving money to ACN and joining myself because it's about $500 to join. And that $500 just goes to the people on top. Doesn't go to anything else. They, they like to say, like, pay the $500. That's like your application fee to joining. All bunch of bullshit. It's just, you know how much money they make? Because they pulled so many people. Like, again, my aunt pulled in 60 people. Each paid $500. $500. 60 people. Do the fucking math. What is that? Like, uh, that's a lot of people. A lot of people. A couple thousand. A few thousand. 30,000 or something. That money should have been in my aunt's pocket. She only got $250. The rest went to the higher ups. The higher up people above my aunt. And she signed people up for this. And people even did the services and everything. She wasn't getting any of that money because it went to the people on the top. Just like all pyramid schemes do. So I'm so glad. As, as tempted as I was of joining this pyramid scheme, I didn't. And if anyone ever approaches you on ACN, it's a bunch of bullshit. If someone ever says, I have a business opportunity and it's multi-level marketing, it's a pyramid scheme. And I know people are going to fight me on that. It's fucking bullshit. MLMs are bullshit. So glad I never got roped up to it, but it's always a fun story to tell. It's always a fun story how I almost got roped up into a pyramid scheme. <laughs> so yeah, hope you all enjoyed that little story. Stay away from pyramid schemes. Stay away from ACN. And just watch yourself. Make your own money. Make your own business. Take care of yourself and your money and your family. Join the dark side.